All right, welcome to episode four of building the best Surly Bridge Club. And I'm glad you joined us this week. If you have not seen episodes one through three, go check that out. We explain what this project's all about. And you can see the first upgrades that we've made to our Surly Bridge Club project bike. But this week, we're doing something special. Surly just came out with their new eight pack and 24 pack front racks. And we thought this would be a great opportunity to try one out on our Surly Bridge Club. So we're gonna show you the whole process of putting one of these racks together, mounting it on the Bridge Club. I think it looks pretty cool. So I hope you're gonna like that. And before we get started, I just want to thank everyone for uh, liking and subscribing to our channel. There's been a lot of interest in this series and most importantly, a lot of great comments back and forth. Some people love what we're doing with this bridge club, other people not so much, but that's what we were hoping. Get a conversation going, get your input, get your thoughts. And that's been a great part of this project. So if you have any comments about what we're doing here or any of the previous episodes, please leave a comment below. Also, if you have a Surly Bridge Club that you wanna tell us about, you can email us with some photos and a little information to info at ottawabikeandtrail.com and we will take a look at those and I would love to feature a couple of your bikes on this series. So for now, I hope you enjoy this episode. Check it out. So I actually have experience with the Surly 8 pack rack. As you can see here, I have one mounted on my pack rat. And in this case, I have a walled 137 basket mounted to the top of the rack. And I love the way this works. It's super convenient. I have a bag that fits exactly that's made for the walled 137. And I just love the ability to just ride this bike if I go to the grocery store if I go pick up food uh, I can stuff stuff in there if I want to bring a coat or a jacket with me I can do that as well so it's to me a great combination and I just leave it on the bike and use it all the time it makes the bike so much more useful when I don't have to worry about carrying stuff I don't have to carry a backpack I just have it all in the front rack right there where I can see it and get to it I was also able to use one of the mounting points to mount my front light. I have a generator hub on this bike, so that's another great feature of these racks is they have plenty of mounting points. So certainly just re redesigned the eight pack and the 24 pack rack. Um, in fact, they haven't been available for the last 12 months. I think that's because they were phasing out the old model and been waiting on the new model to arrive. Uh, you'll see when I put this together that the new model has quite a bit of additional support underneath the rack and the way it mounts to the bike is completely different and in my opinion a lot easier. After putting this rack on the bike I, I really like the new mounting system. I think it's really easy to put together and especially to adjust once you have the rack together. So really like the new design. So I think it's easiest to sort of assemble the rack on a workbench before you mount it on the bike. It's pretty easy process to put it together. Surly provides some very detailed instructions and if you follow those, you really can't screw it up. One of the choices you have to make is whether you wanna mount the lower arms on the inside of the rack or the outside of the rack and it really depends on the width of your fork so for the bridge club uh, we have a wider mountain bike style fork so we're going to mount those arms on the outside of the rack as opposed to the inside if i had a thinner fork like on my pack rat i would run those on the inside but for this one they go on the outside So I would say one of the more tricky parts is just making sure you get the brackets that hold the rack 
arms to the rack, just getting, getting them pointed in the right direction. Uh, Surly describes this in their instructions very well, but I had to fiddle around with it a little bit. I think I ended up putting them on backwards at first and then just flipping them over to get them in the right direction. But the key is you just want to have the brackets positioned so that you can get to all of the attaching bolts easily when the rack is mounted on the bike. The other tip is you want to put a little bit of grease on the uh, arms before you slide them into the, the sleeves. Uh, this just helps uh, keep them from seizing up and makes it easier to take apart later. So one other tip is that when you're putting the rack together on the bench, you just want to lightly tighten all of the bolts to hold the rack together. And then once you get it mounted on the bike, you can make all of the adjustments to get it level and looking the way you want it. And then at the end, tighten everything down. So putting the rack on the bike is really very simple. You just need to uh, remove the four bolts uh, where the rack mounts and bolt the rack on. It's a little awkward to kind of hold it in position while you're screwing in the bolts, but it's certainly doable. Single person, you really don't need any help. Just takes a few minutes. One of the things I really love about this new design is how easy it is to make final adjustments once the rack is mounted on the bike. It just slides back and forth, you get exactly where you want it and then tighten everything down. Super easy. So one question might be uh, why the 8 pack rack versus the 24 pack rack. Um, for me I just like the smaller footprint and also Many people don't know this, but Surly actually makes an attachment called the TV tray that you can mount on top of the eight pack rack, which gives you a, a bigger platform similar to the 24 pack rack. So if I need the additional space, I can just mount this TV tray and get that without having to ride around with the 24 pack rack all the time. So I haven't decided whether I'm going to mount a Wald 137 basket on the bike yet. Um, Love to hear your feedback on that. I, unfortunately, I don't have a silver one at the moment. I have a black one, so I need to get a silver one ordered. If I can find one, they are actually getting a little bit difficult to, uh, to find, but I do like the ability to just throw a bag in, in that basket, so we'll see. I might add one later. All right, we got the rack mounted on the bike. I think it looks beautiful. So let's step back and take a look at the Surly Bridge Club with the new Surly 8-pack rack mounted.
All right, that's it. That's going to wrap up episode four of our Building the Best Surly Bridge Club series. Let us know what you like about this build or what you don't like in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, we'd love to hear about your Surly Bridge Club and maybe we'll feature it in a future episode of this series. Also, one last thing, if you're interested in a Surly eight pack rack or a Surly 24 pack rack or any of the parts that you see in this series, we'll have them available on our website, ottawabikeandtrail.com. So go there and check it out. And if you need a Surly bike, check out your local Surly dealer, but if you don't have one near you, give us a call and we'll help you find the right Surly for you. That's it, we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for joining us and thanks for hanging out with us at Ottawa Bike and Trail.